everybody. I'm Kelly, and this is my best friend and training partner, Rush. Can you wave to everybody, Rush? Wave. Nice job, and we're super excited to introduce the American Staffordshire Terrier through tricks. Rushy, are you excited to be here? No, this is your chance to show off, and I've got chicken. Yeah. This American-made dog was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1936. The early Bull and Terrier came to America with immigrants from England and Ireland. As the name implies, they were a mix of Bulldog and Terrier breeds. Amstaff is the common nickname for the American Staffordshire Terrier. Other names they have been called by over the years include the Bull and Terrier, Pitbull, Half and Half, and the Yankee Terrier. Early AMP staffs were commonly used for general farm work, very adapted for killing rodents and other vermin. Many AMP staff now live in cities and suburbs, but have maintained their ability as very capable ratters. Russia's style has certainly evolved. Beautiful. A Bull and Terrier named Stubby was the most decorated war dog of World War I and the only dog to be promoted to sergeant through combat. After being gassed himself, Sergeant Stubby learned to warn his unit of poison gas attacks. No peeking, Rush. You're going to have to rely on your nose for this one just like the Amstaffs used by military and law enforcement. Even though Rush isn't detecting explosives and narcotics, he needs to rely on his keen sense of smell to find the wooden article marked with my odor amongst the others. Articles are an exercise in the utility level of obedience. The intelligent and confident Amstaff makes for an outstanding competitor in AKC yes. performance events. Good. Good. That was awesome, awesome. Okay, Rush loves excitement, so he's been working super hard on his apprehension skills. Hey, are you Melanois watching this? Rush is sending out a prayer for all those men, women, and canines serving their countries. Amen. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Rushy. Rushy. Between. Their sense of humor and great athletic ability made the Amstaff a favorite circus performer. Always the comedian, an Amstaff handler needs to be ready for an ad lib performance. Pete the Pup appeared in the show Our Gang in the 1930s, and the American Staffordshire Terrier personified the all American pet during this time. Watch as Rush shows off his film skills with the head tilt, the head down for sinister scenes, and the play dead, which always is a big dramatic show by Rush. Yes! Good job! The Amstaff is an active and busy breed, requiring a good amount of exercise. They do make wonderful workout partners. A responsibly bred and well socialized Amstaff can make for a welcome addition to a community. Not to mention they're environmentally friendly. Amstaffs develop strong bonds with people, which is why they're a good candidate for therapy and service work. Yes, thank you. So helpful. Like any dog, Amstaffs can be naughty at times, perhaps with some nuisance barking or other inappropriate, very inappropriate behaviors. 
With adequate exercise and some time spent training, many of these unwanted behaviors can be avoided. To find out if a breed you're interested in is the right fit for your family, along with lots of expert advice, check out the American Kennel Club website at akc.org. I hope you've enjoyed our AKC virtual trick dog routine, and I hope it inspires you to teach your dog a new trick.